Well, it seems that right here we have yet another example of the price, both figuratively and literally, that comes with woke liberal SJW Disney's uh, overpricing, excessive weight lines, the scam with Genie Plus and all this other stuff. Yeah, here's an example of that. Like I said, the figurative price and also the literal price too, because people are obviously protesting with their wallets. Uh, in this case, someone, you know, a family, you know, who was supposed to be their target audience, because, you know, when Walt was talking about, uh, Walt Disney, when he, you know, was still alive, when he was talking about, you know, entertaining families, he didn't have all this SJW liberal propaganda as it goes on today in mind. Uh, so the target audience that they, he was trying to appeal to, which is now being pushed away by this company that bears his name, but has zero, has zero resemblance to what he started. Uh, this is just one example of that. So it seems that a Disney World guest has uh, been pushed away and says they'll never again attend after a horrible experience during spring break. It says on Inside the Magic, Disney World guest says never again after a horrible recent experience. Yep. I mean, poor old Walt must be spinning in his grave right now. It says here, Disney World guests are plenty. The Disney uh, Resort found in Orlando, Central Florida, attracts millions per year, sorry, millions year after year, with post-pandemic attendance seeing a boom, especially after international travel to the United States resumed. However, there are parts of the year that many guests look to avoid. While some lean into seasonal times like Halloween, Easter, and Thanksgiving, a lot of fans will steer, will steer clear. As for one Disney World guest, she says it's never again for her family after a recent, recent visit to the most magical place on earth. Yeah, well, there's a reason why people saying the magic is gone, and this is just one of them. Check it out, uh, continuing on the article. Uh, currently, the parks are entertaining spring break crowds, something which saw uh, both Magic Kingdom and Disney's Hollywood Studios fully booked. For those wanting to visit the parks at Rope Drop last week, this uh, team teamed with annual pass holder reviews for Disney, world's newest attraction, Tron Light Cycle slash Run, in Tomorrowland has made for a busy uh, resort this March. And that is occurred last year. As for one guest uh, and her family, they uh, are totally over visiting the Lake Bunia uh, Vista located Disney Resort at peak spring break time. Okay, let's see the reason why. Continuing on in the article. Writing for Insider, Jill Robbins details her experience as a family of four navigating spring break 2022 at Disney, uh, Walt Disney World Resort and why she is now firmly on the never again side of things. Robin, be Robin begins by stating that they plan to uh, rope drop the Magic Kingdom, but judging by the wall-to-wall -wall bodies, they weren't the only family with this idea. Aiming for the park's lightning lane attraction, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, the family was, was disappointed that the popular coaster was already posting a 65-minute wait in the standby line. I think it's really a, kind of an insane too is the fact that the price hikes you're already paying through the roof just to get a day, you know, uh, your uh, you know like a daily pass or whatever, and you're having to wait basically over an hour out of your day. You know, they've already paid the roof just to get in. It's insane, but hey, it's sadly now to be expected of woke liberal SJW Disneyland. Uh, continuing on the article, Robin Robbins goes on to say that the uh, pure chaos at Orlando International Airport, the main transportation link for those uh, traveling into Florida to visit the parks, added to the overall stress of the Disney vacation. The Disney World guests also detailed their plight to get uh, Disney Genie Plus to work favorably for them during their visit, but to no avail. The family ended up waiting over three hours for Remy's Ratatouille adventure at Epcot's World Showcase. Uh, the wait left the attraction, everyone grumpy, says Robbins. Yeah, I, no kidding. You paid through the roof. I mean, even according to her, even the airport now is crazy. Yeah, you know, and the Genie Plus scam that you supposedly, you know, uh, does, they, they can't even get it to work. Yeah. From a multi-billion dollar company. This is how, you know, lazily things are now being run, it seems like. It's insane, but hey, this has now become the norm with woke liberal SJW Disney, and as a result, well, people are flocking to Universal now, because, you know, they're actually trying to cater to families and not trying to cater to, well, they're making money as a result of that. See, there are Disney's attempts to try to cater to money, you know, and cater to the annoying little SJW feminist crowd on Twitter is actually having the opposite effect. They're losing fans to, to uh, their rival Universal. So, it's to be expected from woke liberal SJW Disney. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.